Hi, Victoria Guido with Politico. Um, there are multiple external factors that are playing out right now. We see uh, rising oil prices. We see uh, auto workers striking. Where's the looming, very real possibility of a government shutdown? And I was just wondering, for each of those things, could you talk about how you're thinking about how that might affect the course for the Fed and the economy? So there's a, there is a long list, and you hit some of them. But it, you know, it's it's the strike, it's government shutdown, resumption of student loan payments higher long-term rates, oil price shock, you know, you can, there are a lot of things that you can, you can look at. Um, and, you know, so what we try to do is assess all of them and, and handicap all of them. And ultimately, though, there's so much uncertainty around, around these things. I mean, to, to start with the strike, first of all, we absolutely don't comment on the strike as we have no view on the strike one way or the other. But we, we do have to make an assessment of its economic effects to do our jobs. So, um, you know, the, the thing about it is so uncertain. It will depend. The economic effects, it could affect. You look, we've looked back at history. It could affect economic output, hiring, and inflation. But that's really going to depend on how broad it is and how long it's sustained for. And, we, and then it also depends on how quickly production can make up for, for lost production. So none of those things are known right now. It's very, very hard to know. So you just have to leave that uncertain. And, and we'll be learning, I think, over the course of the next intermediate period. Uh, much more about that. And th the same is true for the others. We, we, I don't know if you mentioned shutdown. I think of all of these as being on the list. We don't comment on that. It hasn't traditionally had much of, any, of a macroeconomic effect. Um, you know, energy prices being higher, that's, that is a significant thing. Uh, we, um, it, energy prices being up can affect spending. It can affect, uh, cons over time, a sustained period of higher, of higher energy prices can affect co uh, consumer expectations about inflation. We tend to look through short-term volatility and look at look at core inflation, but so the question is how long are, are higher prices sustained? We have to we have to take those macroeconomic uh, effects into account as well. Those are those are some of them. I'm not sure if I hit them all, but um, I mean ultimately, you, you know, you're, you're coming into this with an economy that appears to have significant momentum, and uh, that's that's what we start with. And we but we do have this collection of risks that you mentioned.